Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, we are going to be unboxing my very much delayed January 2024 uh, Twisted Retreat box. Um, it's actually not too, too delayed. It's about two weeks, I would say. Um, they had some shipping issues. They have actually just recently changed their shipping center. It is back on the East Coast, um, which is where I don't know, four years ago when I first started getting Unplugs boxes, they were located. So they come much, much faster now. Um, usually it would take like over 10 days for me to get the Twisted Retreat box. This this came in a few. They, the actual shipping was delayed because we've had a ton of snowstorms here in New York this week. Um, I guess this was once again delayed, which is a bummer. But again, they were also very transparent about it. And the February box should be shipping on time. So hopefully this month I will have two... Uh, Twisted Retreat unboxings up. For those of you guys who do not know, Twisted Retreat is a monthly horror subscription book box that was founded by the creators of Unplugged who try to pair books and a love of literature with self-care and positive mental health attitudes. Um, so I really, really love and appreciate this box. Every single month you do get a bunch of goodies along with a limited edition printing of a book. Uh, I don't remember what the spoiler was for this one because it's just been so long since it was announced and we've just been waiting for it. But it is here. It does retail every single month for $62. That does include the shipping and handling. While it is one of the more expensive boxes because of the custom printing and the giant goodies that you get every single month and them all being horror adjacent or horror themed, I do really think it is worth the value. But again, that is up to you guys to decide, which is why I do these boxes. Um, and I've had way more hits than misses with this company. So I'm going to open it up and we will see what we have for the January box. Okay, so it is a like new type of box that I'm seeing here. This isn't the typical unplugged or twisted retreat box that I'm used to getting. So give me a second as I figure out how to unwrap it. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I have completely brutalized this box. Um, but here it is. We'll not be recycling this box for another purpose because it is literally all torn up, but that's just me not knowing what I'm doing. Okay, so we have, um, oh, it looks like a new style of spoiler card. I did like the old ones. Um, do I have an old one lying around here? I don't know. That was like the Twisted Times and it looks like a little newspaper, but we have a different looking one. So I'm gonna put this aside from now. We have a little note that says, please read. And it says, we are so sorry this box is a bit late. In case you missed our updates, two items, uh, the die and spoon rest were misdelivered. The vendor quickly reproduced these items and resent them. However, in their fast remake, they sent us the incorrect die set. We still included them for you, but have added an art print for this box as well, rather than further delaying this box. We apologize for this and we hope you enjoy. Please use this code for a discount on your future order. Okay, very nice. We will be getting something slightly extra because of the delay and the error, as well as a discount code. That isn't terrible. Okay, so we have, what is this? Notebook series, digital scale. Okay, so this looks like a scale. Oh, it comes with batteries. So there's that, what? Is this for like food? Oh, it's gotta be for food. So it says, um, Mrs. Lovett's meat pies, weigh with caution for the balance of life and death is in your hands. Fresh today, Mrs. Lovett's kitchen scale is not responsible for any unexpected culinary transformation Use at your own will. And it is upstairs at Sweeney Todd's barber shop. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, it's got, this has to be like a food scale. That's cool. Um, I, I actually do sometimes have to use this with like bartending and stuff. My husband will definitely use this as like a nice little food scale. I love how like cute and compact it is too. So that is definitely a very practical item. I think it's very funny that they chose to do Mrs. Lovett's pie and it's definitely something I've never seen before. Um, so there you go. For somebody who's really into cooking, I feel like they would like that. I am not one of those people. So. Oh, okay, we have something huge here. What is this? Okay, we have a pot some sort. And on it, it has very hard to see an antidote 
to any pain. Okay, so we have this like stainless steel pot. Okay. okay I am assuming this is our candle. That Jason candle that we got a couple months ago, the pomegranate scented one. Oh my God, I am just in love with that candle and it's almost done and I'm so sad about it. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have a Raven and we have Edgar Allan Poe up here. Love, 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 love that. Um, this is very cool. And it says, once upon a midnight, uh, once upon a midnight tree while I ponder weak and weird over quaint and curious volumes of forgotten lore. Um, very, very, very cool. Let's see. I really like that this is, um, like, clear. The other ones that we've had have been kind of opaque. Ooh. Ooh, what is this smell? I know this smell. Hopefully, the scent will be on the spoiler card. Somebody mentioned to me that last month it did, and that I just didn't see it, which is great. Um, if they're going to start telling us the scents because this smells really good and I could not place the scent for you, but I've definitely smelled it before. I've definitely had a, like a lemon verbena maybe. What is this? This is a wizard spoon holder. Oh, for pots. Okay. So you take the witch. This is a wizard, but this is definitely a witch. And you stick it so the spoon can stay on like the edge. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. There's like diagrams of how to use this in like different ways. This is very funny. Um, again, this is all very cooking oriented, so my husband will probably be thrilled with this. Okay, what is this? Bath dust and bath skull bath bomb. Okay, so this is bone pad bone pendant dust, bones, cardamom, and plum. So this is bath fizzies, and then there's a skull bath bomb in there. I'm not going to open it because I don't want the fizzies to go everywhere, but I do love a bath bomb. I do love bath salts, bath fizzies. I am a bath girly. Love that. Don't know the fandom though. Okay, so we have, we have dice. And they are eyes, it looks like. It's like a 20-sided dice, I think. And it's got like a dragon eye in it. That's kind of cool. Um... Okay, and then we have another one that's like purple. Now, I know these aren't the correct themes because it was a, a mistake, but that is really cool. I'm not loving any of these items so far. The bath bomb I'm cool with and the candle, but what is this? Uh, this looks like almost like a, oh, this is also a dragon eye, but this looks like more like the eye of Mordor. Um, so there you go. Cool little eye dice. What is this? Coconut drinking chocolate with coconut milk. So we have vegan hot chocolate, it looks like. Yeah, just add hot water. Fun. I kind of, I like, I prefer when they give us snacks. I have nightworms. They give us coffee, tea, and hot chocolate all the time. Definitely prefer snacks from them. But it does tend to alternate. Okay, and then here are our art print. Um, so it's Cthulhu, which, love me some Cthulhu. This is really, really, really dark. I don't know if this will even show up on camera. Uh, which is a bummer, but there it is. Very dark Cthulhu print. So this is a build your horror database movies and TBR dice game. Roll the white dice to see what horror cinematic journey awaits. Roll the purple die to see which Lovecraftian uh, classic literary horror you must visit in 2024. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So this is, you play this to choose what you are going to watch and read for the year. That's fun. Let's see. So I'm going to read them, see which ones I've seen. Okay, I've seen The Exorcist, I've seen Psycho, The Shining, Halloween, The Silence of the Lambs, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Rosemary's Baby, The Babadook, Get Out, Hereditary, The Conjuring, The Ring, It Follows, The Blair Witch Project, Cabin in the Woods, Scream, The Sixth Sense, Paranormal Activity, and The Descent. Okay, I have seen every single one of those movies. Um... So that doesn't quite help me. Uh, so for the literary side, they do have a Poe section. That's The Raven, The Black Cat, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Oval Portrait, and The Spectacles. I don't actually think I've read The Spectacles. I've read all the others. And then they have Lovecraft, which I am not a big Lovecraft person. I do love me some Cthulhu, but I think the only, there's 15, uh, Haunter of the Dark, Call of Cthulhu, which I have read, At the Mountains of Madness, The Shadow Over Inna's Mouth, uh, Dunwich Horror, 
Color Out of Space, The Whisper in Darkness, Shadow Out of Time, The Haunter of the Dark, Dreams in the Witch's House, The Case of Charles Dexter Ward, The Thing on the Doorstep, The Outsider, Music of Eric Zan, and The Rats in the Walls. Um, I've definitely read The Cthulhu of Cthulhu, and that short story collection I read several in there, so I don't remember what they all are. Rats in the Walls sounds familiar. That's just The Thing on the Doorstep. I definitely read Dagon. So, there we have it. I don't know how I feel about that. It's not much of a dice game. Okay, but here. Now let's get to the real reason we have this box. And that is the box. Oh, it's pretty. I really don't remember this at all. Uh, so this is The Bone Pendant Girls by Terry S. Friedman. And we have a little thing up here that says, Beautifully written, Friedman's lyrical style will lure you in and scare you senseless by Annette Deshofsi. Just Deshofsi. I haven't read her. I wonder who she is. She did the Zoe Chambers mysteries. Anyway, let's open this up. I don't love when you get limited editions and they put um, like blurbs from other authors on the covers. If you want to put those on the back, that's fine for a limited edition, but please don't do it on the front. I really don't like it. And I've already like, it's a limited edition. I'm not going to not have the book. I own the book. Um, I do say, think though that this stenciled edging is very, very, very beautiful. This is our front side and the back. I'm assuming this is probably the like original cover. Ooh, and the, the pa I don't think I've seen this before, where the, the pattern on the outside actually continues, but in larger scale onto the inside. Really, really love that. Um, it seems to have a reverse dust jacket. So we have this as well. Um, so we have, one's got to be the original. I'm assuming this is the original because it has this blurb on it. And then this is really pretty. It says, Captured Spirits Speak the Loudest. So there you are. And this is also really pretty. This is giving me like serious like Dia de los Muertos vibes. Ooh, it says Bone Pendant Girls on the spine. I love, 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 love when they do that. But it doesn't say the name on the cover. Do not like when they do that. I want the name on the cover of the book. Just because I imagine, I don't really like dust jackets. I keep all my dust jackets on books because I'm just like weird like that. Um, but I don't really like them and I imagine as my collection grows older I will start taking them off and display just like the beautiful interior of the hardback um, But not yet. Oh, I like this. They have little like floral illustrations in the chapters That's probably for like all editions, but they also have like little birds But very very pretty. This is a very pretty book. Oh, oh cool it, it's signed. It's a real signature. It looks like not a digital signature. I love that. So we do have a signed uh, version. All right, let's read what this is about. Maybe this will save this box. Andy Wyndham has been able to communicate with spirits since she was a kid, but her father warns, ignore the voices or become a freak. Now she is drawn into a frightening mystery where two spirit girls desperately need her. Someone is killing teenage runaways and making pendants from their bones. A bone pendant carved into the likeness of a girl's face calls to Andy at a Pennsylvania gem store, at a Pennsylvania gem show. Andy discovers the face etched in bone is the image of a missing runaway. The second pendant she buys whispers too. Suddenly, she can't turn off the spirit's voices and Andy's afraid the spirits are attaching, which could mean terrible things happening. But she connects with the pendant girls about never saying goodbye to a loved one. Andy's mother died before she had a chance to say goodbye. Pendant girls Mariah and Benny urge Andy to find a man they call Fisherman. They whisper and use ginkgo leaves and messages in dust. Their clues guide her to a deranged killer, but Fisherman, a master of disguise, has learned about Andy too. He demands a return of his pendants and will stop at nothing to get them back. He stalks her until she and her friend decide to go to Columbia, South Carolina, where the girls disappear. With help from handsome Native American private investigator Eli and a Southern sheriff, they must find justice for the girls. Eli and the sheriff use traditional detective work while Andy communicates with the victim's spirits. All their clues are dead ends until they find pendant girl Mariah's diary, but the diary doesn't reveal where she's buried, and they need physical evidence. The woods are full of spirits who try to help, but in the end, Andy confronts fishermen alone on a stormy Carolina lake. Wow, did that just tell me the entire book or what? Wow. And this is giving me like the butterfly garden vibes. I read this book four years ago. It was one of like the first books I think I reviewed on like bookstagram. And I didn't like it, but I'm pretty sure it was like based on 
like a, an actual case or like inspired by something like that and I don't know this just gives me the vibes of that where like this should be a really cool true crime book about like a really crazy um like serial killer of some sort but I don't know I could see this either really working for me with really bad marketing on like the cover kind of feeling a little cheesy and the back telling me everything that's happening or it could be like a surprise gem I don't know I don't know um, so we will see. We will give it a read. It's definitely not something I'm not gonna read. It's definitely something that, you know, it's in the realm of things that I like, so we will see. I do have hesitations, though. I do not love the back of that book. Um, it definitely said way, 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 way too much, and I hope the language is a lot better inside. Um, but, uh, we will have some, uh, Cemetery Dance publications coming out soon. I believe they just revealed that the March theme will be Cemetery Dance, though. I don't know what the book is yet. I haven't looked. Let's go through our spoiler card. Okay, so it says Psychic Premonitions. We will get Mrs. Lovett's Kitchen Scale, um, The Grand High Witch, which is the Spoon Holder, um, The Turn of the Screw. What is this? Whether cradling potion to premonitions, our Turn of the Screw inspired container becomes the haunting vessel, echoing with the chilling whispers of the supernatural i have no idea what this pot is i don't know what it's made of i don't know what i'm supposed to use it for i don't really like that you can't really see the quote on it uh, i don't know i don't love that um we get the lovecrafty and resin eye art i don't know what they're supposed to be i think the eyes are cool i do i think the eyes are cool um i, I don't play dice i'm not going to use them though uh, tree tree yeah, tree house originals chocolate drink that's fine bone pendant girls bath dust okay oh okay that makes sense the, I was like I don't know the bone pendant and that's because I just got the book so love that candle is the raven does it say the scent yes it is cedarwood incense noir and blackberry I was so wrong on what I was guessing it smells great um, and then we get the sun which is pet cemetery wait ah ha whoo for a second, I thought I didn't get my tarot card. Um, and so we have the Pet Cemetery tarot card. And as I just said, it is represented the sun. But we do have a little church cat right here. Love that. Okay. Thank God I got my tarot card. Almost forgot about that. And then our book of the month is the Bone Pendant Girls. And the inside cover is actually the original cover. And this one is the redesigned cover, which I... I don't know, maybe it'll make more sense when I read it, but I kind of just liked the skull with the flower coming out of it, even though that's a very cliche thing that we see quite a lot. Um, so let's see. Next month, we have two books, um, an art piece, an accessory for readers, and a full-size Lush self-care goodie, which has only ever been included in a special box before. I'm excited for the February box because I've seen the spoiler, and they only tell me what one book is. So one book is going to be a complete surprise. So that'll be cool. Um, I don't love this box. I, the book doesn't grab me. I'm really hesitant about it. Uh, hot, cho hot chocolate's hot chocolate. Um, this would be awesome if I cooked. This would be awesome if I cooked this little witch. These are really fun. These are really cool. I am not a kitchen person. I'm a bar person. My husband's the cook here. So, mm. These dice, I don't love the game. I feel like in a horror box, where if we're a horror fan community, the chances of us not having already seen the vast majority of these films are really small. Um, I wish they had had more like obscure things in here along with these greats. I do love the idea of like rolling dice to see what to read. I think that's fun, but I wish this was like actually a game. Um, so, well, at least I have dice now. So don't love that. The art print, again, it, it's so dark. Like from far away, you just kind of see Cthulhu's eyes here. You know, just, mm. if it was brighter, I would definitely like it a little bit more. Um, I love this candle. I swear it smells like lemon verbena. But I love the scent of this. I love the design of this. I love the Poe of this, the raven of it. I love that. Um, and again, the back fizzies, love, always can't complain this I have no idea what I'm gonna do with like this is just kind of like junk now 
Um, so not my favorite box by Twisted Retreat by far, and it's a bummer because it was so delayed. Hoping that they step up their game with the February box. We, we will see. Um, this obviously isn't anything that's going to stop me from subscribing to them, but definitely one of the weaker boxes out there. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I try to post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Mwah!